Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Utah Mac Cross information video. Okay, so um, we had the SP broadcast yesterday on the 11th of January 2019. As of this day, it's the 12th of January 2019. So I'm going to talk about um, one of the current um, releases of missions or events, mini mini event I would say, um, that coincides with the current new year. As you can see this brand new banner here. Um, basically, what you need to do, there is a whole set of a uh, whole set of missions that you need to clear in order to gain tickets. Now, these tickets are a different kind of tickets um, compared to the Nyan Kuji tickets that you usually get for the New Year events. So, we're gonna dive into the mission tab right now. I'm gonna explain to you guys what you need to do in order to clear these missions. So, as you can see, we have a brand new event banner. Right here, so it's the Cho uh, GQ Onen O missions. So I don't really know how to translate these words into English for you guys, but I'm sure most of you guys will probably recognize Cho GQ. So it's like super dimension or um, super space time if we translate it directly. Um, yeah, so Onen O, I don't really know how to translate this into English because. Um, there really isn't a, uh, a, a a way to pronounce it or rather read it in English uh, like Onen is um, or rather Nen O so it's like Year King I don't know uh, so anyways let's just move into the missions um, this is really what you really need to pay attention to so as you can see I'm only one mission away from completing the entire list here so we're going to read accordingly um, to what I have here. So the first one, as you can see, you can see there's these two brackets here. So you just need to pay attention to what the, um, they say in the second bracket. Because the first bracket just basically means live. So you, with that mention, you probably know where it's heading to. So basically you head over to play a Macross Delta song three times. So, you just have to play any song under the Macross Delta tab. That's why it says they're live, because you have to go to the live tab. When you enter the live tab, and of course you choose any Macross Delta song, play it three times, um, then you clear the mission. So I'm just one song away from clearing this mission. If not, if you're kind of lazy, um, you can always tap the blue button, and then the blue button just basically says challenge the mission. So you just tap it, and it'll bring you straight away to um, the Macross Delta tab, then you can just choose any Macross Delta song to tackle straight away. Alright, so let's dive into the next one. Basically, is to play a Choji Kyuyo Sai Macross um, song. So, yeah, the Super Dimension Fortress Macross. Any, any songs under that listing. And of course, you have your Macross 7, Macross Frontier. And of course, we have the next one. Um, Utahime mode, yeah, activated and clear. So, um, this is pretty simple. You don't really have to do Cho Utahime mode, you just have to activate Utahime mode, which is the lower grade version of Cho Utahime mode. So, it's pretty simple. Then, of course, the next one will be um, clear a song with your life of 60% or more. So, that's pretty simple as well. If you are the kind of person who usually um, clears a, a song with full combo, perfect full combo, usually your life will not be touched at all. So no worries on that. Then of course, the next one, the next few are pretty um, annoying because you have to play specific songs. So here we go. Anata no Oto. So this belongs to uh, Macross Frontier. If you guys don't know, it is Rankali's song. Uh, just have to play that particular song under the difficulty of normal or higher. So yeah, you can just stick with normal and you're done. Um, then of course you have Northern Cross, another Macross Frontier song. Then we have Rune, Pika, To, Hikatara. So we have Macross Delta song. This belongs to Freya Weon. If you guys don't know this song by now, it's a very, very popular song uh, that is sang at the end of every single Macross uh, Delta concert. <laughs> so yeah. Um, then we have Diamond Crevias. Which is also a Macross Frontier song. There's a lot of Macross Frontier songs though. Um, then we have uh, Totsugeki Love Heart under Macross 7. Then of course, this one. 
Alright, so we, we go on to the more standardized mission task that you probably have to clear. Uh, so you just need to clear any song with a score of um, 400,000 and above. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, very pretty easy as long as you have like um, like a few five star or six star plates and you're you're pretty much covered. Um, then of course you can just play any song and clear with a difficulty of hard and above. So yeah, if you guys play like hard, very hard, and extreme normally on your own standard play basis instead of going to normal like some of the missions requested, you should clear this. Uh, instantly, especially if you're doing the events currently that is going on, um, the extreme isn't exactly very hard to clear, so you guys can actually clear this particular mission uh, hands down easily. Alright, next one combo rank S and above. So, if you guys tend to do a uh, full combo um, normally, this would clear instantly. Um, then, following the last one, score rank. S and above so yeah um, this one also very easy to gain especially if you do um, full combo and perfect full combo songs uh, that kind of stuff so yeah that's pretty much all there is to the missions the missions are actually um, around from the 12th of January all the way until the 27th of January at the end time of 23 59 hours in Japan so we still got a long way to go um, before these missions uh, end up disappearing. Um, you definitely want to gain all the tickets because they can be used to exchange for episode plates. So let's go into the Chaos Exchange tab and take a look at the three episode plates that are currently available for exchange with these tickets. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm just 800 tickets away. So the total amount of tickets you can get is 1,000 or no, 12, 12,000 tickets. So yeah. Okay, so here we have all the episode plates, the three episode plates, then of course you can have other stuff. You have the episode all that is fantastic to gain as well if you don't need the episode plates here. But of course, as always, the items that are placed at the top are usually the most important exchange or the most worthwhile to exchange. So you need 10,000 tickets to exchange for one episode plate. So with that in mind, um, always choose the ones that you usually don't have. Uh, for me, it is Showtime because I only have a quantity of one, so I don't have that plate fully evolved. So you can actually tap the box and you can see the episode plate itself. So now, um, let's just go through the items here that you can actually do exchange for. Um, definitely, if you want to gain the episode orbs, uh, especially if you need costume points and all that, um, it is definitely advisable. But of course, Getting costume points from this episode plates are also advisable way of uh, going around things. Um, after all, they do give you costume points for whatever costumes that they are linked to. You can tap here and you can take a look. So if you need costume points for these costumes, or maybe they they that maybe you already have enough costume points um, to unlock uh, episode or you know instead of spending the. 50 5,000 points in getting the episode up itself. You know, you can still use these episode plates to unlock a secret board that will give you the luck plus luck value. Then at the same time, they give you costume points. So that's why getting the episode plates itself is actually more um, beneficial um, than exchanging for episode ops large here. Then of course, there is the lucky note for the large ones. Um, then of course, there is resources as well. Because you know, you do have leftover points um, after you change for your episode plate. Um, you do you will have about twenty thousand since the episode plate requires ten uh, ten thousand points. So yeah, you have um, no uh, <laughs> sorry yeah ten thousand. So the 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 you will have um, I'm sorry uh, you will have two thousand points left over. Uh, after exchanging the episode plate itself. So let's take a look at the episode plate. So all three episode plates that you can exchange for are all center skill episode plates with high sc uh, or rather uh, active skill that boosts uh, score. So these are pretty well-known episode plates. Uh, if you guys follow Utam across official Twitter account, they actually did a poll on uh, episode plates that player would want. So this is where the poll came to realization. So Dana used the results and then of course chose three 
of the most popular episode plates that the fans voted for. Um, so these are the three episode plates. So these are the episode plates that are fantastic for having um, a boost in high score. So they all have active skill of the same value where they will activate for 10 seconds when fully evolved. Um, then they will give you a uh, score boost of 100%. Um, so pretty fantastic stuff. So as you can see, I don't have enough for its showtime. So I'm definitely going to go for its showtime. I mean, I do have fully evolved versions of the, um, the, the Kaname and Messer one here. Uh, and of course, I have a fully evolved version of Milene's plate as well. I do wish I could use this chance to unlock the secret boards for either of those plates, but I do need a fully evolved version of its showtime if I want to fully utilize the points on the episode plate itself. Because having it only at the 5-star value, the stats are definitely not looking towards gaining a high score boost so guys i'm gonna do this exchange right now i'm gonna get a copy of its showtime um yeah so um make sure you choose wisely i'm gonna have the plate evolve here right now there we go Boop. fantastic um yeah so make the choice accordingly to what you have maybe you have already gotten all three episode plates fully evolved and then you just need to unlock um the special um, secret boards um, just for the luck value on that particular episode play itself which is very crucial for high score challenges as well so guys that's pretty much all the information I have for this current uh, brand new mini event um, that's currently going on in Utah Macross uh, for all the other information regarding the SP broadcast I will do that in a separate video um, so guys make sure you check out that video when it comes out if not if you have not joined us on the Macross Spacetime Space The Culture Facebook group, the link is in the description as always. Join the community there. I do post up all these information immediately after the, um, the release of the broadcast. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on any urgent matters, um, do check out the Facebook group. I do have one more urgent information that I need to inform you guys on this video regarding the SP broadcast um, which is this one where you need to actually play a particular song um, so it is uh, Wakure ga Tomaranai you need to have Freya Weon as your center diva play the song under the difficulty easy clear it and you're done at the end of the event date, which is today, the 12th of January 2019 at 2359 hours Japan time. Once you have done this, you can you will be rewarded with um, a large episode orb, a medium episode orb, and 10 pieces of Nyan Kuji tickets. All this information I have already put up on the Macross FaceTime Day Culture group. Um, for those who do not follow us on the group and are watching this through you, my YouTube channel, I need you guys to do this challenge immediately if you do not want to lose out on all these wonderful rewards. The episode ops are super crit uh, critical when it comes to unlocking costumes. And then of course, for those who have not gotten the second copy of the um, New Year exclusive episode played in the Nyan, Nyan Kuji Festival, um, you definitely need that 10 pieces of uh, Nyan Kuji tickets. Very, very crucial item. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, do let me know if this information is helpful to you guys by hitting the like button and, of course, subscribing to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!